Hello everyone. Good day my YouTube subscribers. Good day for those of you who have been subscribing to this channel. And good day to all of you who have helped this channel to grow in one way or the other. As you all know, this channel deals in revealing the truth about Fuelless Generator to you. If you check most of my videos which I posted earlier, uh, uh, sorry, which I posted before, I made um, so many videos on how this Fuelless Generator can work effectively. What and what need to be put in place for this to work effectively. Now, I posted um, a video recently about the electric motor being one of the secrets, being one of the secrets to this Fuelless Generator. Now, I want to make this point clear in this video that there are so many ways of making this device to work effectively. But uh, one of the ways which I posted is about the electric motor. Now, an electric motor that um, ordinarily that consumes, let's say, for example, 10 amps, when you operate that electric motor in a modified way, it can give you around two amps on operation. Now, most of you who have connected this foliage generator have observed that um, this foliage generator, the motor which you use in spinning the alternator actually consumes a lot of amperage. And here is the solution for you in order to reduce the amperage. So most of you know that there was a video which I posted on somebody who used a DC motor to spin an alternator to produce light and claiming that you can use a diode to charge back. Now, that system won't work because the DC motor there is consuming a higher amperage. It's consuming close to 8 amps to 9 amps. 8 amps to 9 amps. 8 amps to 9 amps. So, I will want you to do a test with this meter. Here is a clamp meter, as you can see. So, I want all of you to have a clamp meter so you can know the amperage. As you can see here, has to do with the amps. Let me set it to the amps. So, here is the amps. So, please, I want all of you, in order for you to know the amperage it is consuming, to have this kind of meter so you can use it from here. So, that is how to know a particular amps, a particular um, electric motor is giving you. So, in this video, I posted that it will not work because of the factor of the DC motor is consuming a higher amperage. It's just like taking 10% taking out of something and you are giving back 1%. You are taking out 10% from the battery and you are giving out 1% to the battery. So we know that it's not going to work like that. Now, I want to explain how my device works and how it works effectively. How the device works is that we use an electric motor of a low amperage. We've modified it to a low amperage. Assuming it's consuming around 2 amps or close, let's say for example, 3 amps. Now, ordinarily, a standard electric motor on load can consume giving to around 6 amps, 7 or 8 amps. But what we do in my own design is that we reduce the amperage on the electric motor. We use an alternator to spin it. Uh, we, we use the electric motor to spin an alternator. On the spinning of the alternator, it produces an amount of current. That amount of current it produces, or that amount of voltage it produces from the alternator, can now go back to the charging system and cannot power most of your load you use at home. That is a simple technology to my design and it works effectively, it works greatly. Many people have attested to this device. So that is how my device functions. So those of you who have been having a doubt on how my device functions, that is how it functions. Now, many people have been surprised that how can you reduce or how can you make a standard electric motor to consume such an amount of amps. Many people don't actually believe that it is possible bringing the law of physics into play. But I tell you that it is possible because it has been tested, it has been proven, and I've given you most of um, the demonstrations on my YouTube videos. So you can check below the description 
to see most of the videos which I posted consigning the electric motor. So those of you who have been asking how does this device work, that is how my device works. Please, I want you to subscribe to this video, press the bell notification so you can see more of my videos which I post from time to time. They are interesting videos that you, you are going to learn from. So please, do subscribe to this video and press the bell notification so you can see all my videos which I post from time to time. So that is my design. That is how I regulate my design. Thank you so much.